is it the ongoing economic uncertainty or the last year's excessive hiring or both india's two it majors infosys and wipro are yet to land in the campuses of engineering and management colleges to hire fresh graduates a bulk of placements from colleges are traditionally attributed to the top 4 it firms while the campus placement season begins in august september several top built recruiters are yet to hit campuses for placement experts and industry insiders are expecting cy23 hiring to be subdued institutes are also worried that students graduating this year may find themselves in a tight squeeze as many companies are yet to complete the onboarding process for students placed from the 2022 batch on the other hand both wipro and infosys have also been in the news recently for firing hundreds of freshman employees after they failed the company's internal assessment test sources allege that 800 freshers were sacked from wipro while the company claimed that the terminations were limited to 452 people infosys laid off nearly 600 freshers over a series of post assessment firings in the past few months according to media reports the fired employees claim that failing the internal test did not result in termination for freshers who joined before july 2022 hundreds of freshers are still waiting for onboarding at the company for over 8 months after receiving an offer letter it hiring has begun softening according to q3 results tcs2 reported a quarter on quarter reduction in headcount by more than 2000 making this the first time since q1 of fy21 that the headcount has come down for the firm experts believe that the absence of it companies in campus placements is also indicative of a diversification of demand The former director of IIT Delhi says the recent trend in gate exam applications indicates that demand for IIT graduates hasn't dipped but may have diversified. The number of students who appear for gate uh, we had seen almost like 1.2 million students like 12 lakh students taking the gate exam you know when there were not enough jobs available uh, you know for btech because when there are not enough jobs the tendency is to take this exam and pursue higher education but this year roughly about 6 lakh students have taken this exam that number is about half of what it used to be i think probably because they are all taking up other kinds of jobs now because the sectors have become a little bit more diverse now and at least from the gate exam trends it doesn't look like you know students are not finding jobs and they want to pursue higher education and the manufacturing sector in particular seems to be picking up the slack compared to the previous year that is 2022 the placements have been on the lower side uh, so far but the manufacturing companies are making up for lower uh, numbers in on the it side you know thanks to the make in india programs and multiple initiatives of government of india the the program the the performance linked incentives and all of those uh, kind of uh, schemes and even the semiconductor manufacturing which might pick up i would expect more and more jobs to be available in the core sectors and uh, and the core sector jobs sooner or later will start competing with the it jobs the diversification in demand also means that students must update and evolve their cvs as well i don't think so they should hesitate to take up any job at this point of time as long as it gives them some work exposure because so far what they have got is a is a knowledge exposure what they have gained is knowledge in the campuses but i think the work exposure is altogether very different which helps them build their cognitive skills as well which means that yes you could also invest in your transversible skill set which usually we've seen at a lower cadre but even at a higher cadre role if you look at having two or three skills would always be desirable to fall back in a situation like this right rao too urges students to not rush for a job placements right after their bachelor's degrees whole herd mentality of everybody you know pursuing just one single sector and not doing anything else is has never been a good thing uh, for the country diversification is always good we should not be you know dependent on just one single sector to employ a large fraction of our workforce the entry level it jobs the bar is going to go up 
because at the end of the day, uh, all of them are competing with uh, other AI tools, you know, the, like, for example, the chat GPT. I think at the end of the day, the students utilizing all these tools that are becoming available is the is the kind of a learning, you know, that we need to impart. And I would also like to see not everybody looking for a job immediately after bachelor's. You know, there are many more opportunities in other areas. Uh, but those opportunities are not going to become available after a B.Tech degree. I think one needs to pursue higher education. One needs to become expert at something. And then one needs to get into areas where there is a higher barrier for entry. Sumit Kumar of Team Lease points out the need to build up a more robust and attractive skill development ecosystem for graduating students to sharpen their skills before they can aim for such challenging jobs. See, we need to look at the skills which are different levels. One is the low order skill sets and that's where the vocational education really matters, right? And that could be typically at an ITI level or even schools level or even at a polytechnic level as well. But if you look at some of the, you know, professional institutes, there's a lot of emphasis today on the R&D, right? And we need to look at some of the high order skill sets and invest a lot in the internships in the R&D sector as well. I think the idea is right now, how do you also create a talent pipeline for the jobs that are expected to be created. While experts agree that IT companies have slowed down their hiring process and the sector is quickly turning into a tough market, they also urge students to see this as an opportunity to diversify, pick up vocational skills and pursue careers in more diversified job sectors. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.